So today we'll be doing our second question under ABC costing. Uh, like we did the first question where the question required us to, uh, to find out the overall, uh, overhead cost or the total cost per unit under both the methods that is traditional costing as well as ABC method of costing. So this question again gives us the detail about both ways of costing, right? That is the traditional as well as uh, ABC, where under traditional, I told you same two steps will be followed. Step number one is find out the overhead rate. Step two is find out the cost per unit of each product in simple or in short, it is called as cost sheet. Okay, so you can uh, write it as step two as cost sheet or you can uh, elaborate and write it cost per unit of each product either ways it is correct so let's solve this second question so we'll be solving under the first method traditional so our step find out the overhead rate what is the formula total overhead cost divided by the machine hours so overhead cost given in the question when you actually total it up okay they have given you as material inspection or all those costs right when you total it up all the three different activities over there you will get the total of 19 lakh 88,000 and you divide that by machine hours which is given 1 lakh 40,000 hours so once we divide that we get an overhead rate 14.2 and this rate we're going to apply to the cost sheet so step 2 is finding the cost sheet or cost per unit of the product now here we have product A as well as product B. Now A has produced how many units? 5000 units and B has produced 60,000 units. So uh, always remember uh, in a cost sheet, if you remember in cost accounting, the general format is direct material, direct labor and then the, all the overheads will start. So here in this question, they are not given as material, they are not given as information about labor. So we can ignore both of those aspects, okay, direct material and direct labor. We can start ahead with overhead cost, okay. So overhead for product A, it is uh, 20,000 into 14.2. Uh, what is this 20,000 or 120,000 is the number of machine hours that A has taken and number of machine hours product B has taken. So 20,000 multiplied by the overhead rate. Overhead rate we just found out under step number 1. So when you put this together, 120 plus 20, whole sum will give you the total machine hours. So 20,000 into 14.4 will arrive at 2,84,000. And for product B, 1,20,000 hours into overhead rate of 14.2, you will get 17,000, 17 lakh. 4000 rupees. So here again we have the total cost carry forward as it is 284 17 lakh 4000. And we need to find out what is the total cost per unit of each product. So we know what is the cost and we know how much A has produced and how much B has produced. So we simply divide total cost by number of units the product has produced. So under A, it is 2,84,000 divided by 5,000 units will get cost of 56.4 rupees every unit produced. For product B, 17,4,000 divided by 60,000 units will give the answer 28.4 rupees per unit. Simple. This is under traditional method. Find out the overhead rate. Multiply it with the machine hours and again divide it with the number of units produced that will complete your first method. Now let's move on to the second method that is ABC method of costing. So moving on to the second uh, method. Step one is find out the cost driver rates. The question is in detail given us what is the volume related expenses, what was the cost for uh, setup and also what was the expenses related to purchase, requisition or orders, right? means the same. Now what is the formula here? Activity cost or the cost of the activity, total cost that is incurred by the activity divided by the cost drivers. Both these aspects will always be given in the question. Okay, that is the total activity cost 
okay if there are two activities two individual activities or together they are always given the question divided by the cost drivers how many times was the uh, cost driver performed or activity performed now here volume related expense is the first activity under that the cost is 5 lakh 50 thousand divided by the cost driver here is considered always remember for the volume that means the amount of material used okay in terms of production so for volume related expense we consider how many hours did the machine run okay for the production process so we consider here for volume uh, that is uh, the cost 5 lakh 50 thousand divided by total machine hours we know a is only 20 hours b took 1 lakh 20 thousand hours so put together total machine hours is 1 lakh 40 thousand so once we divide that uh, we get the rate 3.9 or 4 rupees next setup cost the cost is 8 lakh 20 thousand and 64 is the total number of setups machinery setup for product a and b combined together okay because we are finding the overhead uh, cost over here or cost driver we need to always combine all the products activity put together okay so that's why we are adding it up and writing we get the value 12812 every setup okay every setup next expenses incurred in order 6 lakh 18 thousand divided by 544 again this value is the sum value of product a and b okay the number of orders taken etc so the value we'll get is 1136 so we have found out all the cost drivers or the rates over here now here i have rounded off uh, it's better we round it off because answers is go just going to be um, you know more simpler or we get the whole figure right otherwise it'll just be decimal and other four points if you want you can write after decimal two points otherwise you can just round it off okay when you round it off you will get more exact uh, values as the answer okay so let's move on to step number two the cost sheet moving on to the step two that is cost sheet now here we have uh, as i told earlier we do not have materials we do not have labor right even in the traditional costing cost sheet i told you so here also we're going to just start out with overheads in this question we have three overheads volume related expenses setup cost and uh, ordering expenses or ordering cost so we're going to do it accordingly starting from volume expenses so product x the rate that we just found out right in step number one that was four rupees twelve thousand eight hundred and twelve rupees and one thousand one hundred and thirty six so these re, uh, rates you will retain it over here multiplied by machine hours that is a took 20 hours and b 1 lakh 20 hours so accordingly the value is going to be for x 80,000 and per unit is 16 rupees now this second column is optional okay but if you do it this way it becomes more simpler so 80,000 divided by 5,000 16 rupees per unit and 4 lakh 80,000 is 4 into 1 lakh 20 thousand so 4 lakh 80 thousand divided by 60 thousand 8 rupees okay next setup cost uh, setup cost uh, that is 12,812 multiplied by 24 x multiplied by 44 for y you get the value of 2 lakh 56 thousand 240 rupees that when you multi divided by the production units of x you get it 51 rupees and then for y it comes up to 5 lakh 63 thousand 728 rupees and then when you divide the value by the total production of product y you get the value rupees 9 i might have uh, rounded up the values just to get the exact figure over here the last uh, activity or the overhead is ordering cost that is 1136 multiplied by 160 for product x and 384 for product y the answers are 1,81,760 and divided by 1,081,760 and the production 36 rupees per unit and 4,63,224 is the cost for production or for product y 
when you divide it by the production 60,000 units, you will get the value of rupees 7. As I told again, this per unit column is totally optional. Either you can write it this way or not write it. Okay, you can directly just write the cost for both the products, total it up. From the total cost, you can divide it by 5,000. From the total cost, you can divide it by 60,000. Okay, either ways you will get per unit for product A, 103 rupees and for product Y, 24 rupees. And when you total up all the cost of overheads or activities, for A it's 5,18,000 and for Y it was 14,75,952, right? Now here what we can observe, if you can observe these values over here with that of the first method, traditional method, we can observe that traditional method just based on the production it allotted cost but here when we actually look into it we have accurate cost allotted to each product that is product x and product y so this completes our second question mm -hmm.